Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinnertron Podcast. So today I'm discussing and giving my thoughts on all the Transformers Studio Series listings. I actually already did do a segment covering all of the legacy listings, which is up on the channel right now. Make sure you go check it out after this one. Please leave all your thoughts on these listings in the comment section down below. So let's get right into it. So the first one is the Studio Series Core Class 86 Steeljaw, which is another cassette uh, going to be going for the Kingdom Blaster, or if you do have the repack of Blaster in the Legacy line, you can actually finally add a new cassette for the figure. I'm pretty sure you actually already came with one, I think it was Eject or Rewind. Uh, I'm actually confusing the releases of the Shatter Glass or the Kingdom one, but he did come with a cassette, so you can actually finally add another one for Blaster, which is really cool to see. Uh, I'm assuming most likely they'll get to his other ones, because I'm pretty sure he actually had more than Eject and Steeljaw. I think he had several more, I just can't remember the names at this time, but I think they'll probably get around to him someday. Um, I'm assuming this will most likely be a uh, brand new mold. Um, I guess if Hasbro are going to be really brave and really creative, they can maybe possibly take that seat or Netflix Ravage and like heavy retool it into Steel Job, but most likely it's going to be a brand new mold, which I'm actually pretty excited. I'll probably pick up this one. Uh, I think I'm assuming it'll probably be around $12 to $15. It's typically what core classes are priced at. The next one is the Sue Series uh, Core Class Movie 6 Frenzy. So typically when they say or abbreviate Movie 6, of course, if you see the listings here, it does say MV6, which is movie six, I'm pretty sure. I think that's referring to the Bumblebee movie. So I think this is going to be kind of a stylized live action uh, version of Frenzy because we actually already did get the reveal of the Frenzy for the 86 movie, which of course it would say 86, which it doesn't for this listing. So I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, this is supposed to be kind of a Frenzy uh, if he were to appear in the Bumblebee movie, which he never did. We actually already did get a Ravage. I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten a laser beam which they'll probably get around to and most likely if this is what I'm expecting or you know um, theorizing to be um most likely they'll take this frenzy and of course make a rumble, uh, uh, just of course paint it blue with the same accessories. Which I'm actually pretty interested how this will turn out because, um, you know, he never really appeared in the film. We got a Ravage, which I thought he looked pretty cool in the film, and his toy was okay to be fair. Ravage, uh, Micro Masters, and Core Class figures have never been the greatest. I, t I think typically where Hasbro shines with the uh, Soundwave cassettes are usually with the Laser Beak and Rumble and Frenzy, so I'm actually pretty interested to see how this is going to turn out, if I'm correct on this. Um, I probably won't be picking this up unless it really wows me. The reason why is because we actually just got, you know, in the past couple months, we got Rumble from the 86 uh, line and we're going to get Frenzy. So I really don't think I need the 86 appearances and the Bumble movie appearances. That's just my opinion anyway. Um, the next uh, figure is the Studio Series Deluxe Class Movie 7 Wheeljack. So since it's a Movie 7, this will be based off the Rise of the Beast film, um, most likely. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Of course, we already did get the mainline release, which actually seems to be quite a, uh, quite a few people actually did enjoy that figure a lot. It was actually packaged in two different ways. There was a separate, you know, Deluxe Class release, and there was also a pack of three. I'm pretty sure it came with Nightbird and Cheetor, if I'm correct. That was a Target exclusive, so maybe if you were unable to get that target exclusive or the uh, separate mainline release so you can actually finally now get a Stu series release which most likely of course design wise will be very similar to that original figure but actually might be more complex because it seems to be uh, just in my opinion that typically the mainline Rise of the Beast have actually been a bit more simplistic and easy uh, rather than Stu series which seem to actually have more accessories more details and a more complex transformation um and I'm pretty interested to see how this figure will turn out. Of course, the design of Wheeljack for Rise of the Beast has never been, you know, quite popular or liked. I think people have somewhat grown onto it. I've never really liked it or hated it. It's just not my favorite. Um, but I'm actually kind of interested to see how, you know, different it will be uh, from that mainline release. I do think, I do hope this will be better. Um, you know, I hope it will improve. Because truth be told, when they actually did release the Stu series Nightbird, I wasn't that impressed. The mainline release was a Okay, but I was really hoping for a huge, you know, drastic uh, change for it to be much better. So hopefully they don't do that uh, thing with Nightbird where it really didn't get better or worse. Um, the next one is a package refresh. It's the 86 Gnaw, so maybe if you missed out on that uh, Gnaw figure, I think that was actually one of the very first few deluxes of this 86 line, so it's been quite a while, so maybe if you missed that, you know, and the aftermarket is really overpriced and you just cannot find anywhere, there's a perfect opportunity right now to pick that up. Um, we also actually have some Gamer Edition figures, which this is speaking directly to me, because I'm actually going to try and get pretty much all of the Gamer Edition sublines. So we actually do have a Decepticon Infantry, so I think, um, you know, 
know, I never actually really play the War or Fall for Cybertron games. I really actually missed out them. I missed out on them. I've actually watched quite a bit of gameplay. So from what I can recall, I think the Decepticon infantry, I think they're supposed to be kind of like just Decepticon drones, you know, not like specific characters like Soundwave, Barricade, Megatron, and so on. Um... I think it's supposed to be somewhat of an army builder type figure where you can just get like, you know, 15 of them and create this entire, you know, huge Decepticon display. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Again, I've never really played the game before, just from what I can remember if this character, uh, you know, if I'm actually remembering it correctly, I think it's supposed to be just kind of like a Decepticon, you know, generic soldier, which I think is a really good idea. I actually do quite like that. Um... The next one is the Sears Series Deluxe Next Gen Bumblebee. So this actually is a bit odd. This is kind of surprising. So uh, I'm pretty sure this figure is supposed to be based off that Transformers 1 film, that uh, film supposedly coming out in 2024. It's the uh, brand new, uh, first in a long time animated Transformers film. Actually, the very first Transformers animated film since the 86 one. I do know there was the Transformers Prime one, but that was never in theater. So it's a big deal. So I think this figure is supposed to be based off that movie because actually before we actually had the official title of Transformers 1 it was actually called Transformers Next Generation so um, it could be that it could be something else but it just appears that to w that way to me um, I actually really don't know much to say on it because, you know, we really haven't gotten any trailer, no concept art, so um, it's kind of up in the air. I, I'm not really going to judge this figure uh, until I see it. I probably will not get this next-gen line because I already have a lot of lines I'm collecting. You know, I'm going to get the Gamer Edition, I'm going to get the uh, Legacy Year 3 uh, and Shatter Glass, so I try and really just, you know, limit myself to a certain set of few lines. I really don't. You know, some people will just get, you know, any figure from any line. I actually try and just stick to a certain and set line. That is just me, of course. That's kind of how I collect. It might seem odd to some people. That's just how I've always done it. But maybe if this line, you know, just really wows me, maybe I'll give it a chance. Actually, a bit of a, you know, example is actually with Shatterglass. I first, when Shatterglass first started, I was not going to collect it, but all, all the figures from the first wave really wowed me, so I actually started collecting it. So that might be the case with this figure. But, um, Please do uh, let me know your thoughts on this next-gen Bumblebee in the comments. This is very interesting. This really caught me off guard. Um, also, the next one uh, is kind of interesting, too. So, I'm just going to say all of the abbreviated uh, letters because some of the texts, you know, are abbreviated, like the MV6 and stuff like that. So, this is the Transformers 2 Series Deluxe HM Megatron, which I'm actually not really sure what HM stands for. If you do know, let me know in the comments. Um... I really don't know. This wouldn't be, you know, like an 86 Megatron, because it would say 86 if this was Gamer Edition. Of course, that wouldn't make sense, because we just got a Gamer Edition Megatron. So, I'm thinking this could be uh, a Megatron, a part of that, uh, you know, uh, that new animated film. Um, it doesn't say Next Gen or Transformers 1, so this is kind of up in the air. I really don't know what this, uh, what this Megatron is about. Of course, it could, you know, we, we might get more information soon, because some of these listings are very nice. They abbreviate titles, they have weird code names, you know, sometimes they'll call a Transformer something completely different than what it is. So this, we might have to wait a while until we actually get some concrete information on what this is. I really don't know. Um, I'm not really sure what HM stands for. Um, please, again, let me know. If you have any ideas on what that means, let me know in the comments. Um, I guess I do have one slight thought. Um, I, nothing really connected to the HM, but this could be a Megatron uh, from Bumblebee because, you know, there's been quite a few concept designs of a Megatron, you know, what he would look like if he was in the Bumblebee movie, which he never appeared in. So maybe this is going to be a Megatron, a part of that Bumblebee movie. Um, but you do have to keep in mind, it does not say MV6 as in, you know, Transformers movie 6 before it. Um, so I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But as for the next one, it's the Transformers 2 series Voyager class movie 6 Skywarp. So it's just going to be taking that, you know, Bumblebee movie Starscream and just repainting it, maybe adding a new head sculpt and making it into Skywarp, which I actually might pick up because Scar Skywarp has always been my favorite seeker. I've always really liked his deco. Blue is my favorite color, so that makes sense why. Um, and I actually did own, I still do own the Starscream. I'm pretty sure I do own Thrust and Thundercracker, if I'm correct. I thought they were pretty fun figures. 
Um, unfortunately, um, they occasionally did have some QC problems and some connection issues with the accessories and a few of the panels. Overall, the main joints were actually pretty tight, but there was a few areas that could have been better, so hopefully they fixed those tolerance problems and those QC problems on this sphere here. They were nothing ever, you know, huge or major, like there was no breakage issues, you know, but there was a few panels that could have tabbed in a bit better. Um, but moving on to the next figure, we actually do have the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class War for Cybertron Ratchet. So this will be most likely another gamer edition figure, which I'm actually pretty interested to see. Um, a Voyager Ratchet, which actually I'm kind of surprised it's a Voyager Class. I was most likely expecting a Deluxe. Um, so I guess that's pretty cool to see. Um, I, again, kind of going to reserve judgment, you know, for now. I probably will pick this one up, but um, I'm interested to see uh, what he looks like. Um... And now for the remaining two, which are definitely, again, more of the interesting ones. Uh, the next one is the Transformers Gen A Level uh, MV8. OP. So uh, let's just break this down. So of course, OP is most likely Optimus Prime. Uh, MV8 is most likely Movie 8, which I guess they're referring to that Transformers 1, because if you are technically counting all of the movies, that would be the 8th movie of Transformers. Um, I'm not really sure what A level means. Uh, I've heard a few people uh, think this might be a new type of class, like you know how there's Voyager class, Deluxe class, Leader class, Commander class. Um, that's some of people's guesses. I really don't know what that means. Um, that, that's really all uh, people have said. I guess it could be a new type of class, or just maybe some title, or it could it could be some series. You know how like there's um, you know the Toxitron collection. Uh, there's you know um, Gamer Edition. That's sort of a, a separate series. Um, you know there's um, the I guess uh, the Battle Across Time. That was another you know subline or series. It could be some sort of separate series or something. I I really don't know. So it's some Optimus Prime figure of some sorts. We actually do not know the size. It does say AST, which I'm not really sure what that uh, is abbreviated for, but it does not say the size. I'm assuming most likely it'll be a Voyager or a Leader, because we I don't really think we've ever had an Optimus Prime as a Deluxe in quite some time. Um, we also do have another Transformers Generations A-Level 86 of Bumblebee. Um, this doesn't say um, anything to do with... Um, that uh, MV8, as in Movie 8, so I guess this will probably be a part of that 86 subline, which is actually pretty cool. I'm actually glad that I'm, if, if this is, of course, correct, uh, one would assume this is going to be an 86 Bumblebee, which I'm actually, um, I'm glad. Um, I think that it's a really good idea. I was actually thinking of that the other day uh, when I got that new Core Class 2 pack. I was actually seeing in that review, which should be up on the channel very soon, I was actually um, thinking that they should make a new uh, Bumblebee, you know, not one of the Netflix... Uh, uh, cliff jumper mold or the uh, the earthrise cliff jumper mold a brand new bumblebee would actually be pretty cool um so I guess if a uh, a level is a class size, I guess Bumblebee is going to be that class size. I'm not sure if that's going to be you know bigger than a core class or maybe smaller than the deluxe. Maybe it's going to be in between a core class and a deluxe. We'll have to wait and see. But if this is a part of the 86 line, I guess that'll be pretty exciting because that'll be a new sort of size, a part of the 86 line. Because you know for uh, since Studio Series started, you know it was only core class and the typical you know deluxe Voyager and leader, and you know. Very very soon a commander, so um, I guess they're going to be bringing a new class size to Studio Series, and um, yeah, I, I think I might, if, if this is a Bumblebee, an 86 Bumblebee, maybe I'll actually try it, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but that is it for all of the listings. Uh, you know, if you were listening closely, you know, some of these are a bit of a, you know, up in the air type thing, like the, the uh, you know, the um, HM Megatron. I have no idea what that is. Um, you know, some of them are a bit more straightforward, like the Skywarp, that's obviously just a repaint. The Wheeljack, you kind of know what to expect there. Um, and the Frenzy actually did surprise me. I guess it's going to be kind of a, um, a Bumblebee movie inspired Frenzy, which I'm actually pretty interested to see. I do hope it comes comes with his pile drivers because we've actually had some rumble and frenzies in the past that did not come with his pile drivers so I really do hope that's included and honestly truth be told if um you know it was down to with these frenzy and rumble figures uh, and the core class scale if uh, they had me choose you know have included his blasters or his pile drivers I would rather have the pile drivers so if they just come with the hammers and not the blasters I would personally be perfectly fine with that um that's just me um but please do leave all your thoughts on these listings in the comment section down below, and I'll see you next time.